Valencia, Spain, a city known for its vibrant culture, historic architecture, and sunny Mediterranean climate, recently faced a catastrophe of unprecedented proportions. This vibrant city, usually bustling with tourists and locals alike, was suddenly thrust into a state of emergency. Torrential rains, the heaviest in over a century, transformed streets into raging rivers, turning the cityscape into a scene of chaos and devastation. The relentless downpour showed no mercy, submerging cars, flooding homes, and leaving entire neighborhoods underwater. The floods, which struck with terrifying speed, left a trail of destruction in their wake, claiming lives, shattering homes, and crippling infrastructure. Emergency responders worked tirelessly, navigating the treacherous waters to rescue those trapped. But the scale of the disaster was overwhelming. The deluge began on a seemingly ordinary day, catching many residents off guard. What started as a light drizzle quickly escalated into a torrential downpour, with rain falling in sheets and visibility dropping to near zero. As the rain intensified, so did the floodwaters, quickly overwhelming drainage systems and sending torrents of water surging through the city's arteries. The infrastructure, unprepared for such an onslaught, buckled under the pressure, leading to widespread chaos. The usually bustling streets, filled with the sounds of life and laughter, fell silent replaced by the roar of the floodwaters and the cries of those trapped in its grip. The city, once a symbol of Mediterranean charm, now stood as a testament to nature's unpredictable fury. Its people left to pick up the pieces in the aftermath of the storm. The floods left an indelible mark on Valencia, both physically and emotionally. The sheer scale of the devastation is staggering. Homes were reduced to rubble, their foundations weakened by the relentless onslaught of water. Businesses, once thriving hubs of commerce, were left in ruins, their inventories washed away, their futures uncertain. The human cost of the disaster is immeasurable. Lives were lost, families torn apart, and a community left reeling in the aftermath. The floods served as a stark reminder of the raw power of nature and the vulnerability of even the most modern cities in the face of such extreme weather events. Amidst the wreckage and despair, stories of resilience, courage and compassion emerged. Residents, their spirits unbroken, rallied together to help their neighbours. Emergency workers, working tirelessly around the clock, braved treacherous conditions to rescue those stranded and provide aid to the injured. One resident, Maria Garcia, recounted her harrowing experience, trapped in her home as the floodwaters rose. It all happened so fast. One minute I was watching the rain from my window, and the next, water was pouring into my living room. Maria, like many others, lost everything in the flood her home, her possessions, her sense of security. While the immediate cause of the Valencia floods was an unusually intense period of rainfall, scientists warn that such extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and severe due to climate change. Rising global temperatures are leading to warmer oceans, which in turn fuel more powerful storms and increase the amount of moisture the atmosphere can hold. The Valencia floods serve as a stark reminder of the urgent need for action to address climate change. Unless we take decisive steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the impacts of a warming planet, such devastating events are likely to become more commonplace, putting lives and livelihoods at risk. In the immediate aftermath of the floods, the Spanish government declared a state of emergency in Valencia, 
mobilizing resources and personnel to assist with rescue and relief efforts. The army was deployed to help evacuate residents from flooded areas and distribute essential supplies, such as food, water and blankets. The government also announced financial aid packages for those affected by the floods, including assistance with rebuilding homes and businesses. However, the scale of the damage is immense, and the road to recovery is expected to be long and arduous. Section 6. The Long Road to Recovery – Rebuilding Lives and Communities As the floodwaters recede, the true extent of the damage is becoming painstakingly clear. The task of rebuilding Valencia, both physically and emotionally, is daunting. Homes need to be rebuilt, businesses need to be revived, and the scars left by the disaster need to be healed. The recovery process will require a concerted effort from all levels of society, from government agencies to local communities. It will demand resilience, compassion and a shared commitment to rebuilding a stronger, more resilient Valencia. Section 7. Lessons Learned, Lessons Ignored. The Urgency of Climate Action. In this chapter, we delve into the critical need for immediate and sustained action to combat climate change. The Valencia floods serve as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of inaction on climate change. These floods not only displaced thousands of people, but also caused significant economic damage, highlighting the urgent need for proactive measures. While the science has been clear for decades, global efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions have been woefully inadequate. Despite numerous international agreements and pledges, emissions continue to rise, putting our planet on a dangerous trajectory. The world continues to warm at an alarming rate, increasing the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events, such as floods, droughts, heat waves and wildfires. These events are not isolated incidents, but part of a growing pattern that threatens ecosystems, economies and human lives. The Valencia floods should serve as a wake-up call. They are a clear indication that the impacts of climate change are not a distant future, but a present reality that demands our immediate attention. We can no longer afford to ignore the warnings of scientists or the pleas of those on the front lines of the climate crisis. The voices of those affected by these disasters must be heard and acted upon. The time for action is now, before it's too late. We must invest in renewable energy, reforestation and sustainable practices to mitigate the effects of climate change. Every small step counts towards a larger, global effort to preserve our planet for future generations. Section 8. A Call to Action Preventing Future Tragedies The recent tragedy in Valencia underscores the urgent need for a multifaceted approach to prevent future disasters. The devastating floods have shown us the vulnerabilities in our current systems and the dire consequences of inaction. This includes investing in resilient infrastructure, such as improved drainage systems and robust flood defences, to better withstand extreme weather events. By upgrading our urban planning and construction standards, we can create cities that are more resilient to the impacts of climate change. It also requires strengthening early warning systems and evacuation plans to ensure the safety of residents in vulnerable areas. Effective communication and timely alerts can make a significant difference in saving lives and reducing property damage during such emergencies. Furthermore, we must prioritize nature-based solutions, such as restoring wetlands and planting trees, which can help absorb excess rainfall and reduce flood risks. These natural barriers not only mitigate flooding, but also enhance biodiversity and improve the overall health of our ecosystems. And most importantly, 
We must accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economy by investing in renewable energy, improving energy efficiency,